Friday night game, Wake Forest 37, Virginia 17. I, I had to throw in Wake Forest on this because they are – who in the world would have had Boston College and Wake Forest as the last two undefeated teams in, in the ACC? Wake Forest looks awesome right now. Sam Hartman, 17 out of 29 passing, 270 yards, three touchdowns. They ran the ball 45 times for 203 yards against Virginia. That's 4.5 a clip. They only had five penalties in this game. Virginia had 11. They had zero turnovers. Virginia had two. They were 7 of 16 on third down, 1 of 1 on fourth down. Like, Virginia outgained them, but this was, like, it, Virginia also had way more, uh, way more plays in this game. Like, a ton more plays. Wake Forest is so efficient. Dave Clawson is one that we've talked about for bigger jobs before. This may be his his year. This may be his calling to get one of those bigger jobs. Now, he may not want to leave Wake Forest. It seems like a cushy mm. job to me. But that sounds that sounds foolish. We have seen guys hey, hang on to lottery tickets too long. It's true. That is true. But it's it's not like he's not getting paid. He's making what, like two and a half, two point eight million a year yeah. at Wake Forest. Man, that's but that's chump change compared to what these big programs are throwing yeah. out now. He get he get three times that at, at big boy school. Yes, yes. I I will tell you, they look fantastic right now. I don't know what is gonna happen going forward. They got Louisville at Syracuse at Army and Duke coming up. They could certainly be eight and O heading into North Carolina. Uh, but then the the gauntlet to end the season at UNC, NC State, at Clemson, at Boston College, like that's going to be rough. But if if you get to eight and O, people going to start. But, I mean, I, hang on now, we're not going to just start talking of wins. So there's no, 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 of course right? not. They could certainly lose at Army. They could lose at Syracuse. Yeah. Like you, you they never could know. lose to Louisville. Yeah. Like there's there's no. Telling. I don't think they will lose all those games. I'm just saying. Let's just be careful. Of just chalking up W's and just giving people these big streaks. Of course, of course. We we know that this has been a weird season. So, yes. I mean, I, I'm with you. But I like Wake Forest. I I thought before the season started, I told everybody, I thought that um, the ACC was going to be better. I thought Wake was going to be pretty good. I didn't think they'd be this good. I thought Boston College would be pretty good. Don't know that I thought they'd be this good, but I thought they'd be pretty damn close to it. And I thought NC State would be the second best team in the in the ACC. I might be wrong. I might all, all those teams might be the top of the ACC. Now you you're right about that. I, it, who knows what to expect at this point? Uh, but I do know it's been a a fun hellacious ride thus far through through what I guess five weeks if we want to count week zero. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.